I'm going to be talking about a science fiction film called Source Code. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. A train is on its way to its next stop, and our main character wakes up as one of the passengers. He feels something is wrong and gets agitated by every little detail. The woman sitting across wonders if something is wrong while calling him Sean. She's surprised when the man sitting in front of her denies being Sean and maintains that his name is Captain Stevens, a helicopter pilot in the US military. He also doesn't know who the woman is and what he's doing on this train. They arrive at a stop and he proceeds to find out where he is. He sees a teenager pick up a wallet which a man has dropped and returns it to him. Stevens asks the teenager where they are, to which he replies that they're in Chicago. He sees a reflection of himself in the bathroom and is shocked when another man's face appears. The woman finds him coming out of the bathroom and tries to comfort him while Stevens is freaking out. Another oncoming train passes by and an explosion kills everyone. Stevens wakes up strapped in the pilot's seat and hears a woman's voice on the screen in front of him. She wants him to recall her name, but he has trouble remembering. The woman recites a series of passages and shows him patterns of poker cards in order to help Stevens' memories. He struggles for a moment, but eventually remembers her name as Goodwin. He also sees another man with crutches who types something in the computer and leaves. Stevens wants to speak to his father and be debriefed about his mission, but the woman only cares about the bomb and the identity of the bomber. She tells the captain that he has 8 minutes to find the bomb and proceeds to send him back to where he woke up in the train. Stevens notices that things are very similar but different as he can change the outcomes knowing what happened before. He begins questioning people who look suspicious and goes after Russell Peters, but the woman assures Stevens that he's only a comedian. He remembers the direction which the explosion came from and begins searching in the bathroom. He opens the air vents and finds the bomb right on top of it. Not knowing what to do, Stevens tries to ask Goodwin for help, but hears no response, so he 